Hello everyone, so in this Unreal Engine tutorial we're going to make a simple dynamic emissive blueprint. So let's dive into it. First of all, in the content browser we're going to right click and create a new material. Then we're going to rename it M underscore emissive. We're going to open it up and first we're going to hold 3 and left click to create a vector 3 parameter. We're going to right click on it and click on convert to parameter and we're going to rename this parameter emissive color. Then we're going to hold 1 and left click to create a constant node. Then we're going to convert this to parameter and rename this one intensity. And finally we're going to hold M and then left click to create a multiply node and connect the vector 3 parameter and the constant node to the multiply and then plug the output into the emissive color. We can set the intensity to let's say 8. And also don't forget to set a color for the vector 3 parameter. Let's set it to a bright white. Once that is done, let's head over to the content browser and into the project settings to make sure that the bloom is enabled so we can see the emissive. Good, so back in the content browser, we're going to right click on our material and click on create material instance. Then we're going to right click and click on blueprint and create a blueprint actor. We're going to rename this one BP underscore dynamic emissive. We're going to open it up and first of all, we're going to click on add and add a sphere. Here you can add any mesh you want. Next, we're going to head to the construction script. We're going to drag the sphere into the graph and then we're going to drag out from it and search for create dynamic material instance. Then we're going to connect the nodes and then we're going to right click on the return value output and promote it to variable. We can rename this one material. Good, so we're going to save and compile. Then we're going to head over to the event graph and we can delete the event actor begin overlap and the event take because we will not need these ones. We're going to drag out from the Evan Begin Play and search for Timeline and click on Add Timeline. You can rename it if you want, but we're going to leave it as it is. Double click to open it and then add a color track. You can set the length to whatever you want, but for this tutorial we're going to set it to 10. And we want this timeline to loop, so click on this little button there. Then we can hold shift and left click to add some key points on the timeline. Let's set them roughly to 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Once that is done, you can double click on every node to choose a color. You can choose any color you want, but for this tutorial I'm going to go with these colors. Once that is done, just make sure that the last node is set to the same color as the first one because this timeline is going to be looping and we don't want it to be noticeable. So just double click on it and copy paste the hex linear code. We can save and compile and we can go back to the event graph. Next, we're going to drag our material in the event graph and click on get material. Then we're going to drag out from it and search for set vector parameter value. Then let's connect the nodes, then we're going to connect our new track 0, which we could have renamed, to the value. Then the parameter name needs to be the same as the one we created in the material. So this one's going to be emissive color. 
And finally, click on the sphere and choose the material M underscore emissive instance. We can now save and compile and return to the viewport. We can save. Then we can drag and drop our new blueprint we just created into our map. And then we can simulate to see the work we just done. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. See you next time.